So in continuation, we have here the seismic dead weight. Starting our analysis on the wall specifications. So concrete wall tile. Let's assume that we have a 4 inches CHB wall plastered both face. So plastered siya both face. Now, based on your NSCP 2015, hanapin natin yung density ng ating concrete or ng CHB. Density of CHB is equal to 44 pounds per square foot PSF. Converting that, we have uh, 2.107 kilopascal or round na lang natin na 2.2 kilopascal. So, yan yung ating density ng CHB. Computing for the weight of the uh, CHB on the entire floor system on our third floor. Nasa third floor, assumption natin, third floor. Hanapin lang natin lahat ng section sa floor na yan na kailangan ng walls. So, yan, ito, ito, lahat yan may walls. Then, same goes to this interior. Disregard nyo na lang kung may window. So, as much as possible, ma-maximize natin yung load at uh, uh, tanggalin na lang muna natin yung presence ng window. So, plainly wall lahat. No? Computing for the weight of the wall, weight of the wall, we have 2.2 kN per square meter, that is kilopascal. Total section of the floor system that will have a wall is 14 meters and 7 by 4 meters. So, lahat yan may wall. The thickness of the wall, uh, the height of the wall, based on our uh, figure, kaya nga may tributary with tayo, that is 3 meters. Okay? That is 3 meters. The uh, height of the wall. Okay? Simplify that, we will now have the weight of the wall equal now to um, uh, 277.2 kN or basically that is 278. Sobrahan natin lagi. Pero not that much naman para hindi tayo over design. Weight of the wall is now 278 kN. Next up is our Next stop is our slab or your concrete slab. So let's assume that we have a 5 inches thick concrete slab based on our uh, floor system analysis. Bago natin i-design yan, kailangan natin kasing i-design yung beams and columns. So we have designed the beams and columns on this manner and as well the thickness of the slab system or the floor system. So we have designed the slab to become a 5 inches thick concrete which is equal to 0 0.125 meters okay concrete unit weight ng concrete unit weight ng concrete is 2.57 kilonewton per cubic meter or basically that is 23 uh, 2.5 23.57 that is 23.6 kilonewton per cubic meter. Alam natin yung uh, thickness ng slab. Then alam din natin yung uh, water. Kung kailang, kung meron mang tubig sa floor area, kailangan nyo ring i-compute yung weight ng water. Okay? So uh, 23.6 Yeah. <coughs> then Kailangan na natin yung weight ng slab. Anong section yung gagamitin natin? Notice in our tributary area, we have here uh, this section. Ito yung ating floor load. That is 7 and 14. Nama ba? 7 and 14. Weight ng ating slab. 7 14 tapos 7 ayan so weight ng slab weight ng slab is the density of concrete 23.6 the dimension was 7 by 14 the thickness 
was identified at 0.125 meters. So, weight ng ating slab is equal now to 289.1 kilonewton or basically that is 290 kilonewton. Okay? Then next is our floor finish. For floor finish, for floor finish, we have your tile and uh, concrete with uh, grout. Floor finish tile, concrete with grout. Again, the density of concrete is 23.6 kilonewton per cubic meter. Dimension of tiles with respect to thickness is 0 0.0375. Floor area na kailangan ng uh, floor finish is 7 by 14. Okay. Weight of the uh, floor finish is simply... 23.6 times 0 0.0375 times 7 times 14. Weight ng floor finish is simply 87 kilo newton. Okay. Next on our weight is the weight of the beams. So how about the weight of the beams? Based on your initial design analysis, you have come up with the dimension of your beams generally or maximum dimension of the beams was identified as 0.4 by 0.5 meters. But this time, let's just assume the dimension of the beams are 0.4 and 0.5. Now, the total length of the beams dead load that we have to compute is 14 meters plus 7 times 4. Total length of 42 meters. 7 times 4, 28 uh, plus 14, 42. Saan yun? 42. 7 times 4, ito, 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 then... Uh, ito, 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 at saka ito. Yan yung ating beam. Okay? Hindi pa natin isasama yung corridor, ha? So, that is 42 meters. Again, the density of concrete is 23.6 kilonewton per cubic meter. So, the total weight of the beam is 23.6 the dimension 0.4 by 0.5 the uh, length of 42 meters gives us the weight of the beam of 198.24 kilonewton or 199 kilonewton next up is our weight of columns Weight of our columns. Assume that it was designed to have a dimension of a column of 0.4 by 0.6 meters. Now, design na natin yung column initially. Meron siyang 0.4 by 0.6 meters. The length of the columns are 3 meters based on our tributary width analysis kanina. So, 3 meters. 3, 3, 3. So, 9. So, 3 times 3 pieces. So, we have a length of 9 meters. Okay? Again, density 23.6 kilonewton cubic meter. Then, the weight of the column is now equal to uh, 23.6 times 9 times the dimension of 0.4 by 0.6. Gives us the weight of the column of 50.976 kilonewton which is 51 kilonewton then lastly how about the ceiling weight syempre hindi mawawala yan meron tayong ceiling weight 
based on your NSCP 2015 under chapter 2 check the po doon ceiling weight density of 0 0.008 kilonewton or kilopascal kilonewton per meter square or kilopascal per millimeter thickness so millimeter thickness so it was identified that the thickness of the ceiling that we're going to use is 12 mm so the total density is now equal to 0 0.008 times 12 so we have 0 0.096 kilopascal so the weight of the ceiling is 0 0.096 times the total dimension of 7 and 14 yung lalagyan natin ng ceiling a total weight of the ceiling equal now to 9.408 kilonewton or 9.41 kilonewton. Maliit lang naman yung factor ng ceiling. So, kahit ganyan na lang. So, 9.41 kilonewton. So, yan na yung ating dead load. No? Maliban na lang, meron pa kasi tayong water tank and roof. So, we'll have to compute that later on. No? As a continuation, we also need to compute for the total seismic live load. That is your seismic live load. Saan na din kukunin yung total seismic live load? Remember that the function of the structure is a school building. It is now a school building under NSCP-11. NSCP uh, chapter 2-11, 2015. Uh, classroom so meron tayong live load with respect to classroom and live load with respect to the corridors of the classroom <coughs> so saan natin makikita yan that is now at uh, table 205 so ano yung i-designate nating live load which is now found at table 205-1 page 2-17 of chapter 2 uh, section 19 or table nine, section 19 of our NSCP. So, live load of a classroom under table 205-1 school building siya. Classroom live load 1 is 1.9 kilo pascal. Total dimension disregarding the corridor 1.9 times 7 times 14 minus 2. Yung 2 yung tinatawag natin corridors, yung gilid-gilid. Okay, corridors. Our first live load based on uh, uh, per floor section is 159.6 or simply 160 kilo newton. Then our second live load based on the crown floor corridors. Ganun pa rin, table 205-1. ground floor corridors live load under that is 4.8 kilopascal times 7 times the corridor that we have deducted kanina which is 2 corridors ito yung hallways natin then we have equal now 68 kilo newton no? as addition Maybe we will be adding a water tank on the roof deck of our uh, uh, structure. So, kailangan natin i-consider si water tank. Kung magdadagdag ka ng water tank uh, at roof section, let's just say your water tank has a dimension of 1.5 meter at a diameter of 2 meters. Ay! Diameter of 1.5 meter at a depth of 2 meters. So, water total weight 9.81 kilonewton per cubic meter. Volume pi over 4 times 1.5 square times 2. Volume yan ng cylinder ha? Water tank. Water tank weight is 35 kilo 
newton. So this time, kailangan na lang natin i-compute yung total loads with respect to dead load and with respect to live load. Okay? Summary of load combinations. So, summary of load combinations, total dead load. Ano yung mga load na kailangan natin sa dead load? We have computed your weight of the wall, weight of the floor finish, weight of the slab, weight of the beam, and weight of uh, uh, weight of the column and lastly the weight of your ceiling summate lang natin yan 278 290 plus 87 plus 199 plus 51 plus 9.41 total dead load identify is 914.41 also known as a 915 kilo newton so how about the total live load the total live load is the summation of live load 1 plus live load 2 okay live load 1 live load 2 with a reduction factor of 0.25 so yung kinumpute naman natin is for the entire floor system okay live load 1 160 Live load 2 is 68. Will be 228 kilonewton. Kailangan natin ng 25% reduction factor. That is per square meter. So live load is 57 kilonewton. Kasi yung 228 sa buong floor system na yan. E for uh, per square meter tayo ng basis. No? Kaya 0.25 meters. Uh, 0.25%. So, we have 57 kilo newton for the total live load. For the summation of dead load and live load, so that is basically summation of dead load plus live load, which is 915 plus 57 kilo newton. The total load to be considered is based on dead load and live load. It is vertical loads of 972 kN. So, we'll have to translate that as a lateral load on our structure, which is shown on our first slide. Ito yon. Dito yon. 972, jan, 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 jan. But we'll have to translate them based on the floor location. So, that is it for our uh, load analysis for uh, seismic dead weight and seismic uh, a seismic dead load or dead weight and seismic live loads next up is our uh, analysis for the base shear computation so marami rami pa po ito now then we will have a reduction analysis mamaya then marami pa yan okay i'll see you on the next lecture video